What's going on guys? Big Mike the 717 Owl here with you today. So today we're going to do a quick little tutorial and we're going to break down a pass on the drag strip. All right guys, let's get into this video. All right, first up, before we even break it down, we are going to do a full pass. Uh, this video here is the first nine second pass I got on my 2012 Hayabusa. So all right, check out the video and then we'll break it down. First up, we have the burnout. The burnout is meant for you to prep your tire uh, in order to launch your motorcycle. Now, typically, if you have a street tire, what you're going to want to do is just do a small burnout just to get any debris off of your tire. That way, it is pretty well prepped and ready to go. If you have a radial, you're going to want to do a pretty well, well done burnout and try and really heat your tire to make it a little bit more tacky, and then you are done. Big tip here for the burnout is you want to go around the burnout or the water box. You do not want to get water on the front tire of your motorcycle. All right, let's go to step two. Now part two, uh, you are approaching the line. You're going to have your pre-stage light and your stage light. Typically you break the pre-stage light first and depending on what kind of bike you are, if you are a NA bike, which is mine, you're going to pre-stage, wait for your opponent to pre-stage then you're going to pull up to your staging. Now, when you pull up to your staging, that is when you typically set your RPM. For me, my uh, Busa is about seven or 8,000 RPM for my launch, and the R6 is about 10,000 RPM for my launch. You sit there, you hit that RPM, and you wait for the green light. Now, if you're on a turbo bike or in a turbo car or two, you want to hit the pre-stage, go up to your two-step, and then you're going to slowly roll in to your staging light. That way you're already ready to go. Once you hit staging, you're ready to launch. All right, now part three. All right, now we have part three. This is probably the most important when it comes to uh, coming to your run is because this is going to really help you with your 60 foot. And from what I've heard, if you can cut a tenth off your 60 foot, that cuts two to three tenths off of your end run. So this is going to be when you slip your clutch. Now, a lot of people say ride the clutch. Some people say dump the clutch. Uh, you will have to figure that out for your bike. For the Busa, I have to slip the clutch out. For the R6, I can pretty much dump it because the R6 has power, but since it's slightly stretched, it cannot pull a wheelie, so I can launch it really hard. The Busa, I have to slip it because it does want to pull the front wheel off the ground, even though it is stretched. Uh, it has an eight inch stretch on it. So, you want to slip your clutch. Now, once you're moving, we're going to go to step four. All right, so now step four, once you are moving, you do not want to touch the clutch again. You are going to be doing power shifting, or if you have a quick shifter or air shifter, this is when you're going to run through your gears. Now, power shifting is running without a quick shifter, without an air shifter, and what you're going to do is you're going to rev out your gear, back off the throttle just a little bit to take the load off the motor, and just use your foot and go up to the next gear. Uh, this is not hurting your bike, but there are mistakes that you can make, which is if there isn't enough load taken off, you could grind a gear, which can cause problems for your transmission. But typically, this is not a very harmful practice with motorcycles. For me, it has cut half, it has cut half to three quarters of a second off my time. So it is one way to help. So all right, we're going through your run. Now we're gonna hit Step five, which is your cool down. Going on to step five, it, it is your cool down, like I said. Now your cool down is when you're gonna be slowing the bike down and being ready to exit the track and go down the return road. Now, once you cross the line, most bikes, I've seen bikes out to 200 miles an hour and a quarter, and they do not need a parachute. So pretty much all you do is for me, I sit up, I let the air hit me, 
and basically make my own makeshelf parachute with myself. And then I just let the gears slow the bike down. And then you do rev match to the lowest gear until you're down in the first and just able to cruise right down uh, your return road. Now return roads, some tracks vary. They might have a different speed that you they want you to go. But just get down to that speed, exit the track, and there you go. Guys, so that is a quick breakdown on making a pass on a bike. Now I will be doing a full breakdown on every individual part. Uh, I will be doing a how to do a burnout, a how to slip the clutch, a how to power shift, quick shift, all that kind of stuff. I will be doing breakdown videos coming soon. Uh, I was gonna make this one video, but it would have been really long. So I just wanted to keep this short and sweet. That is a quick tutorial on how to make a pass on a motorcycle. And I really do hope you guys like this video. If you are a new drag racer, drop those comments. Maybe if you're local to Pennsylvania, or if you're down in Maryland, we could always meet up at the track and go racing next season. Next season for the Busa though, we will be looking for our eight second pass. We did break this bike into the nines. We could have gotten deeper in the nines, but unfortunately the day that we got our nine second pass, it did start to rain. So anyway, like I said, hopefully this helps you out. If it did, please drop a like. Also drop those comments and don't forget to subscribe. Also hit the little bell next to that for notifications on the newest videos that will be coming out. And I'll be sure to catch up with you guys soon. All right, guys, remember, ride safe, ride smart, always wear a helmet. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.